Hello everyone, uh, today we will be solving the problem maximum total rewards using operation 1 from the weekly contest 401. So first we will understand the problem clearly then we will see the different approaches to solve this problem. So please watch the video till the end for the better understanding. Now you can see here the acceptance rate is around 21% that is very low for the problem 3. Now the reason for this is first we have submitted the solution with the, with one code uh, and it got TLE and with the same code I have resubmitted it again and it got passed. So I don't know what exactly is happening. Now I think that the participants in the lead code has increased gradually and the lead code is not able to handle that much load. So I am hoping that from the next contest lead code will become a stable environment. Uh, now let us understand the problem clearly. Here you are given an integer array reward values of length n reward values of length n representing the values of reward. Initially your total reward x is 0. So initially my total reward consider it as x, x initially it will be 0 and all indices are unmarked. You are allowed to perform the following operations any number of times. First all integers are unmarked. Choose an unmarked index from 0 to n minus 1. I can choose one of the index and if that value if reward of value of i is greater than your current total reward. Now if you are taking rv of 1 if it is greater than x then only I can take this then I will add it to the reward plus rv of 1 then I will check for I will mark it as true I will mark it as true so that it cannot be repeated again. So in this way we need to return an integer denoting the maximum total reward you can collect by performing the operations optimally. So we to return an integer maximum total rewards can collect. So we need to perform the operations optimally and we need to get the maximum rewards. Now let us understand with one example these are all my reward values initially my x is 0 x is the first I will take this x plus 1 which is 1 this index and now I can I can't take this because my 1 is not greater than x but I can take 3 it is 4 and I can't take this so 1 and 3 my reward will be 4. Now consider this example these are all my values first I will take 1 and if I am taking 6 it will be 7 and all are my reward values are less so 7 can be my answer. Now consider I am taking 1 and I am taking 4 and then I am taking 6 it will be 11 so my optimal answer is 11. Now if you see my constraints are 2000 and 2000 so if you see this type of constraints uh, 10 power 3 is mostly it will be a dp problem now now think like how exactly you can solve this what i will try to do is first i will sort this first i will try to sort this uh, because we uh, we don't care about the indexes because we are using every element only once whether it is marked or unmarked i don't care about that we are only using once so first thing you need to do sort and then you can think about the approaches when you the indexes doesn't matter first thing you need to do is sorting so first i will sort it and i will check after sorting it what i will do is i will start from one of the indexes one of my indexes and i will see i will try to do some recursion i will try to do some recursion and i will check whether my value can be taken or not picked or unpicked so it's like similar to the knapsack problem picked not picked same with 2 I will pick or not pick pick or not pick pick or not pick pick or not pick only condition is my reward my reward value should be greater than my reward if my reward value is greater than reward I will pick it or else I will not pick it and finally I will return the maximum of pick comma not pick pick comma not pick so this will be my uh, recursion how recursion flow now let us see the recursion code first we will sort it first sort it so I will tell you what happens if you do not sort so consider these values we have 1 6 4 3 and 2 now we are at 1 we are at 1 then I will go to 6 and I will check yes 6 can be taken so my answer can be 7 ok now if you are at 6 I cannot go anywhere I can say my answer is 6 my better answer is 7 now when you are at 4 when you are at 4 now you are you cannot come back you cannot come back because my 6 has gone before my 6 has gone before and my maximum value is towards the left side so it is no use right my I am losing my maximum value 
so i want to make my maximum value as far as possible that's why i am sorting it so the main reason to sort is i want to make my large element as far away as possible so that i can be taking that reward value here my reward value is missing but if you see here if the values are like this i will take one uh, if i take two i can take two it will be three three and i can take four so it can be a seven and if i am not taking three if i am not taking three it will be one plus two plus directly six it can be nine and if i am going with one plus four plus six it will be eleven so in this way the optimality uh, optimization will work first i will sort it then zero n this is my reward value and this is my vector so i am i am coming here include is equals to zero and include is equals to if my v of i if my reward value is greater than r then i am saying that i will include it include v of i plus solve of i plus 1 n comma reward plus v of i because i am increasing the reward and if i am excluding it solve directly i will go with n plus 1 i will not add any value i will not add any reward to this and n comma r comma v it will be same and finally we will return maximum of include comma exclude and my base condition will be if i have reached to the last index last index i need to return zero because there are no reward values so this will be my answer so if you submit this we will get tle because here you can say include and exclude it will take 2 power n at every position it will be 1 then 2 then 4 then it will be 8 16 this type of steps will be gone and you will getting tle now how you can optimize it first thing in recursion you need to think about states here how many states are changing here my i is changing and my reward value is changing so yes my reward value is changing and if you see here the constraints so the constraints my reward values are 2000 my reward values are 2000 and my reward length is 2000 reward length is 2000 so 2000 is fine so my reward length i will take 2000 and some of the rewards how how big it can go you will think 2000 into 2000 it can go my reward value so it will be 10 power 6 4 into 10 power 6 so obviously i will get tle so let's think how how much my reward can go suppose if you are considering suppose if you are considering this is my reward value and all my values are all my values are something and my finally my answer is at the end i got the 2000 as my reward value now if you want to take this if you want to take the maximum value if you want to take the maximum value how far you can come my reward can be only this right my reward can be only 1399 then only i can take this 2000 then only i can take this 2000 that means 2000 plus this it will be 3999 so maximum reward maximum reward i can reach till 4000 so i think you understood what exactly we are doing we are saying that if you want to take this 2000 2000 maximum value maximum reward can be 191399 it can't exceed if it is exceeding if it is exceeding that means i can't take this value i can't take 2000 so i think you have got it so we will go with 2000 and it's 3 399 so we will use 4000 so yes 10 power 6 is fine the constants are very strict sometimes it's failing sometimes it's passing but 8 into 10 power 6 is definitely fine in C++ is definitely fine so we will go with we will initialize dp 2001 and 4001 all my values as minus 1 simple and and you know right my i is changing and my reward value is changing so my dp state will be i and reward value is equals to max if my dp of i and reward value is not equals to minus 1 we are returning dp of i comma reward so memoization is very simple memoization is very simple you just need the states both states i am changing i and r is changing so i will use i and r r as my dp vector and you will store that value if that is repeating then i will reuse it that's it and then i will reuse it so here my time complexity will be order of 10 power 6 so it will be like n into n i can say n into n so i am hoping that you understood it so if you have learned something new from this video please do like and if you are new to the channel please do subscribe i will see you in the next video till then bye bye